Greetings, my friends. Remember that God's time is not our time. Uh, what we consider, I've been on social media for 10 years now. Uh, 10 years on Facebook, about seven years on YouTube, give or take. And that is a drop in the bucket in God's timeline. So I've been warning you things are imminent for the last seven to 10 years, which is like seven to 10 seconds or milliseconds in God's time. So yeah, things are imminent. And I've been warning you about the Isaiah 17 prophecy building up and building up and building up and building up. For those who don't know, Isaiah 17 is talking about Israel attacking Damascus, instantly destroying Damascus, turning it into rubble, a place where only the owls and ostriches can live. And in the Bible, owls and ostriches are unclean birds that live in desolated, ruinous places where no humans can live or thrive. And things have been heating up over the last seven to 10 years big time and now the biggest thing ever has happened and the isaiah 17 prophecy by the way is right on the threshold of the imminent rapture i know many christians don't believe in the rapture anymore that'll be to their own detriment when they found themselves left behind but the, the pre-tribulation rapture <coughs> believe it or not is a biblical fact and you'll find out if you're left behind soon enough that you should have believed what the bible says that i've been warning you about for seven to ten years this is a new huge thing that's happened New rules of engagement between Syria and Israel as Russia changes its position on the entire Israel-Syria conflict. Syria will now adopt a new rule of engagement with Israel that Russia has taken a tougher and clearer stance on the conflict between Israel and the axis of the resistance. Henceforth, Damascus will be responding to any Israeli strike. If it damages a specific military target, it will reply with a strike against a similar objective in Israel. Decision makers in Damascus said Syria will not hesitate to hit an Israeli airport if Damascus airport is targeted and hit by Israel, which it has been in the past, by the way. This will, will be with the consent, full consent, of the Russian military and its president, Vladimir Putin. So in other words, Damascus says they're going to attack Israel if Israel attacks Syria. And Syria is constantly provoking Israel. Israel has to, to attack Syria because what they do. Here's what's going to happen. Here's, how it's going to, here's what's going to go down. You hear about all the stuff, the Golan Heights, all, the, all the, the fighting over that. Syria wants to take that over. All kinds of skirmishes there. Iranian troops build up there. Russian troops, Syrian troops. And at the Isaiah 17 prophecy fulfillment, the Golan Heights will probably be hit hard as well. And Israel will probably suffer a lot of casualties there. And if the Golan Heights are hit, or anywhere in Israel is hit, you can believe that Israel is going to launch on Damascus, the capital of Syria, you always take the head of the snake in military. And I know this as a three-time combat vet. You always go after the head of the snake. Israel will pummel Damascus, I think with a nuke, and that'll fulfill prophecy. And that'll be it, my friends. And then the Psalm 83 war with Israel's neighbors attacking her and the Gog Magog war will be coming up. I've got more word on those as well. I'm going to break it down into separate videos to concentrate on each one at a time. This is huge prophecy, though. This is showing us we're on the threshold of eternity of the rapture and the tribulation for those left behind. So here's the thing. If you've never been saved or you're backslidden, I've got a prayer and six vital next steps in the box below the video. Pray it and do the steps as soon as possible. No one's guaranteeing the second of your life even. If you'd like prayer for anything, contact me. I pray for you every day without fail. And you might not think that you can backslide. There's hundreds of scriptures that say otherwise. And I believe the Bible. If you don't believe the Bible, it's again to your own eternal detriment. You find yourself in hell, the lake of fire. Don't blame me. Share this video with everybody you possibly can. Get the word out and look up. Our different growth and I, we fly soon. May God bless you. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Wake up and again, share this video.